Hello and welcome to the latest video. Um, in this video, I was wasn't feeling the best for a couple of days there, so um, I took a few screenshots just of my progress and stuff rather than going live on um, what was happening. So it was my third and final season in Munich um, with Bayern. So Champions League semi final, I won two 0 at home to PSG. Um, <clears throat> so going to Paris with a with a two 0 lead um i managed to lose one nil but obviously it was enough to get me through to the final so um another final another champions league final a chance to defend my my title i won on penalties last season against barcelona um <clears throat> yet again in domestically in germany i won the title comfortably um which to be fair the two season, the last two seasons, have won the title really, really comfortably, and it's kind of allowed me whenever it gets to the business end of the the German Cup and the business end of the Champions League, the rest a lot of players. So I've been very careful with my selections and stuff. Um. So yeah, I won the I won the league. There's nineteen points. So <clears throat> happy enough for that. So the German Cup final, I was drawn to play against Eintracht Frankfurt. Um, it was actually quite a good game, as you'll see. Um, it was 1-1 at half time, and I did manage to win 2-1. But as you can see there, 77 and 90 minutes. Um, they had goals ruled out by VAR, so they could very easily have beat me. Um, but basically then, <clears throat> domestically in Germany, I won three German Super Cups, three league titles, and three German Cups, or DFB Pokal. Um, so, dominance, domestic dominance. So, Champions League final, Borussia Dortmund. <clears throat> Over the course of the game, Borussia Dortmund, I rarely had any trouble with them, to be honest with you. They're, I don't know if they ever beat me, to be honest. Um, yet again, Champions League final, as you can see, beat them 2-0. Um, Leon Bailey and Serge Gnabry scored the goals. So, <clears throat> that's my last season there. So, you can see Kevin De Bruyne was my... My most uh, most appearances, Serge Gnabry, twenty eight goals, um, which was the most I think from an Emma strikers over the years, um. So I was quite happy with that. Timo Werner kind of became second choice behind, um, Serge Gnabry after, in the in the third and final season, um. Some of our good players, Lorenzo and Sinia, had a <coughs> had a good couple of years for me as well. But I actually he actually kind of lost his place towards the end of the last season because I ended up signing Jadon Sancho. Um, so I got Sancho and he was very good as well. Um, as you can see there, Perez, new and Perez, he, he became a good player for me as well. Thiago, 42 appearances. <clears throat> Most of them now were off the bench. But it was quite common that I replaced Kevin De Bruyne with him. Kimmich, Neves, Escudero, um, Noir, Sule, Alfonso, Davies. Right, Karstorp. Karstorp done really well for me to be fair to him. <clears throat> you can see in this third season, Sven Ulrich. Played a lot. 26 games. Now a lot of that was maybe times whenever I was resting. I was resting there. But he pretty much played. I think he played all the cup finals at the end of the season. Um, <clears throat> Neuer picked up a few injuries. So whenever Neuer got injured he came in. Um, you can see there just underneath. Um, Sven Ulrich. You can see Ar Arthur. Arthur. Uh, Barcelona. So at the same time he only made 19 appearances. But I think he broke his leg early in the season, so he was out for like six months. Um, you can see there as well, a lone player, Yangel Herrera. <coughs> I, sold, um, I sold Tolisso and I spent most of my budget around that time on Sancho. So I just wanted to bring in someone just to, co just to cover and he got a few games. Um, Lewandowski's still there, but to be honest with you, Lewandowski was in the reserves most of the season. And it was only whenever I had a couple of injuries up front late on in the season that I, uh, that I brought him back in. <coughs> So, as per the whole idea of the game, three seasons, then you move on. So, there's just as well confirmation of all the trophies I've won. Um, obviously, a European Super Cup will not get the opportunity to win the second one because I'll have left Burnby then. Um, two Champions Leagues. Um, I think the only finals, the only things, the only trophies I didn't win in my time were the first Champions League I lost in the semi finals to Barcelona. I think I beat them 1-0 in Munich and then lost 3-0 in Barcelona. <clears throat> um, and then in the summer of the second season, the brand new club world club championship was played. 
and I lost in the final of it to Liverpool. So I kind of wanted to play Liverpool in the Champions League this season um, to see if I could put that right, but I didn't get the opportunity to do so. So disappointing. So here's the list of jobs. Um, from that list, to be honest, with you, the only one I really fancied was Arsenal. So because it's insecure, the game allows you to declare your interest. Which I did. <clears throat> Obviously resigned from Bayern Munich as well. Um, Johnson wants to manage Arsenal in a broadcast interview. Jerry Johnson indicated that he's the man to take the helm of struggle in Arsenal. Um, Jose Mourinho was in charge at Arsenal. Which, you know. So as if Jose Mourinho can go to Spurs, he can go to Arsenal, can't he? Um, straight away, after I declared an interest. You can see there, was it the 3rd of June and the 28th of May? So a couple of days later, Arsenal sacked Mourinho. But they did say that <clears throat> it was nothing to do with me offering the job, um, which, you know, it's probably nonsense, but that's what they said. Um, while I was waiting for the Arsenal job to come up, Inter Milan also um, became available. So, to be honest, I was looking at that job, uh, this, the Inter Milan job and uh, the Arsenal job were the two big ones, and I thought I could go to either one of them, to be honest, you know, both sides are good. I looked at the, I looked at the league tables. From the 2022 season. <clears throat> and Arsenal actually finished ninth in the Premier League. So they were well down the league. Inter Milan were second in Serie A. And I think if I remember right. They were a point or two points behind Juventus. Or Zebre as they're called in the game. Um, so. Part of me was kind of tempted to try and hold off for Inter. But Arsenal made me the offer first. So. I thought about it for a wee while and then I decided to go with Arsenal. So I'm at Arsenal now. Um, <clears throat> I've been having a look at the squad. As you can see at the top there, Arsenal reserves. These are all players who don't really fit into what I want to do. Uh, but as you can look and see, their wages are ridiculous. Um, so they're all players that I would quite gladly get rid of. But um, it's... Uh, it's going to be difficult to get takers for, for the majority of them, to be honest. But uh, we'll see what we can do. So anyway, we want to go then to the game and show you where we're at. I've already made a couple of signings. Um, I've already made a couple of signings to um, my Arsenal team. I can't even find my football manager here. So we'll just go out and we'll log back in properly. So... <clears throat> um. I didn't. I haven't really played very much with Arsenal. I've kind of because I've been sick. I, uh, I just kind of got the job. Made a made a slight effort with uh, with transfers and then logged off. So I'm on the eighth of July. Now bear in mind this is the twenty twenty two season. So the transfer window is going to close in a couple of weeks because of the World Cup. You can see there the twenty third of July is the first game of Premier League. Um, I've still got sixty odd million in my budget, but I might keep that for the one for the window. Um, so here's who I have at the minute. Who did I sign? Um, I signed one Her one Hernandez from Watford. So I spent twenty seven million on him. I think he had a release clause at the time. So I brought him in, and I also did I sign a midfielder. I think. Um, let's just have a quick look through the squad. I think Zaha was already there. Donny van de Beek was already there. <clears throat> Pepe Zaliba. Who else did I sign? Renato Sanchez. I signed Renato Sanchez. I wanted the British strength in the midfield. So, <clears throat> you can see that the, the team's not too bad. The team's not actually that bad. Um, my big problem is I'm really, really, I really want rid of a lot of these guys here. In the reserves, like 205,000 for Marco Asensio. Now, he's still quite young, 26. He could probably play left wing for me. But whenever I was looking at my team and who I have that can play left wing, I didn't really think that he was any better than the rest of them. Um, I really want to give um, Martinelli a chance. So, there's a lot of them up for sale, but we'll see how it goes this season. Um, <clears throat> because Arsenal were ninth in the Premier League, I suspect I probably won't won't do that well this this first season but we'll try and uh, we'll try and get into the Champions League and see where the weaknesses are and go from there in uh, in this first season in England but uh, 
I'll get on with that now and hopefully then there should be another video in the next day or two. So thanks for watching this one and we'll be in contact over the next few days. Thank you.